you know, if you or I stomp somebody on the head and we're guilty of assault, I don't think we'd be able to cut a deal with the with the prosecutors, but a former East Cleveland police officer who cut a deal with prosecutor prosecutors and pleaded guilty to assault after a 2020 traffic stop avoided jail at his sentencing Monday. Wow. A former East Cleveland police officer accused of stopping a driver's head after a traffic stop has avoided jail. Today, a judge sentenced that ex-cop, Nicholas Foti, to probation and community service for the 2020 assault. News 5 investigator Scott Knoll has been detailing the problems inside that police department for years. It has the latest today from outside the Justice Center. As prosecutors played body camera video of the April 2020 arrest of the driver, former East Cleveland police officer Nicholas Foti largely sat with his head turned, not watching the video. Prosecutors say East Cleveland police officers attempted to stop the man after reports he drove on a sidewalk, but that the driver, fearing police, kept going, wanting to get to a more public area, said prosecutors. Police eventually able to disable the man's car. Video shows them drag him from behind the wheel, put him face down, where prosecutors say Fody tased the man twice, then stomped his head and neck, then tased him again. Although there are those that do break the law, those officers are meant to uphold it as well. And Fody's attorney insisted his client did not act maliciously, trying to hurt the man. He says Fody was only trying to get the driver under control and only stepped on his head because he was pushed by another officer, <laughs> making reference today to the problems right. inside the police department leading to the indictments of 18 past and current officers. So, hey, East Cleveland's got problems. It does have problems, Judge. And we can't lay that at the feet of Mr. Foley. Mr. Foley was not the cause of those problems. He won't be the end of those problems. He is perhaps, in this incident, a product of those issues. Foley telling the victim. judge he assumed the worst of the driver when he fled police, saying he's since learned of the man's mental health issues that could complicate interactions with officers. Your Honor, I'm standing in front of you today. I only wish you could have had a chance to see me at my best as opposed to my worst here today. The driver asked we not show his face or use his name, but told the judge he wanted to see Fody go to jail. I know I played a part in that too. I was wrong, but at the same time, you know, they had one of them. Instead, Judge Andrew Santoli sentenced Fody to a year and a half probation and ordered the former officer to serve 100 hours of community service in the city he once patrolled. The 39-year-old must also give up his police officer certification, keeping him from wearing a badge again. This is just the first of what could be a busy couple weeks for the East Cleveland cases. Next week, two former officers scheduled to go to trial on their charges, a third scheduled to be sentenced after he pleaded guilty in his case. Okay. Dang, East Cleveland. Well, Fody, you got off easy, but you can't be a cop no more. So, we'll call that a win. All right? Fantastic. Have a nice day.